black soap for or organic lightning black soap for caramel skin so if you know you are a caramel skin this soap is for you My name is Cassie and you're welcome. Please, if you've not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button on your phone and subscribe to this channel. Please turn on your bell notification to be notified each time I upload new videos. And if you are a subscriber already, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for coming back. You guys are amazing. So guys, in today's video, I'm not going to be wasting too much of your time. I'm just going to be showing you how to make your organic black soap for organic lightning black soap for caramel skin so if you know you are a caramel skin this soap is for you this soap is an organic lightning black soap for just caramel skin today is for the caramel so you guys know caramel is not a dark skin caramel is not a whitening skin caramel is in between it's not a strong melanin skin it's in between i will try and insert a picture on the screen so that you know what a caramel skin look like so caramel skin need maintainers also you need lots of maintainer if you don't maintain your caramel skin trust me guys you definitely will, you're going to go darker and darker you're going to fall into the melanin skin if you don't maintain your skin so guys i'm going to be showing you how to make this soap so guys this soap is very very effective it is super super effective i've made this soap for so many of my clients and the reviews have been amazing so if you want to make this soup you can go ahead and make it so please do not come to my comment section and tell me oh, this soap is not this it's not that it's not that this soap is tested and trusted it's a very very good recipe so guys if you know you are an organic seller and you want to make this soup for sale you can as well go ahead and make this soup and you are good to go so guys without wasting too much time let me take you now to the ingredients that you will need for this recipe okay so you are going to be needing one grams of black soap two yellow ozone soap one pack of five days whitening balls one pack of anti pimples green balls three fresh lime one ashanti papaya soap 15 ml of liquorice powder 15 ml of vitamins, vitamins B3 or niacinamide, 5 ml of propylene glycol, 30 ml of honey, 15 ml of snow white powder, 5 ml of sandalwood powder, 5 ml of sulfur powder, 10 ml of sugar, 10 ml of turmeric powder, 5 ml of caramel powder, 15 ml of coconut oil, 15 ml of whitener serum, 15 ml of jojoba oil, 15 ml of carrot oil, 15 ml of Moroccan argan oil, 5 drops of tea tree oil, 10 ml of apple cider vinegar, and 6 drops of lavender oil. So guys, these are what you will need to make this organic lightning caramel black soup. This soup is very, very rich. If you check the ingredients very well, you notice that they are mostly natural ingredients. That's why it's called organic. They are not mostly natural ingredients. And you notice that the oils are very many because some people tend to say black soap dry out their skin. So for black soap not to dry out your skin any time, any day, you need more oils in your black soup that is why there are so many oils in this black soup so guys now how to make this soup i'm going to be telling you guys the procedure on how you make this soup first of all get your sanitized bowl ready clean your bowl very very well you need a clean bowl now break your black soup into your bowl and add your yellow ozone soap and also grate your ashanti soap add it to your black soap mix them together now the next thing you're going to be doing now is to add your lime juice your honey and add your anti-pimples ball anti-whitening ball 
okay five days whitening balls add them into the soup please crush them when you're adding them into the soup so that the uh, melting process will be very very fast now after adding all of that into your your bowl now it's time to add all the powders all the organic powders i make sure in the ingredients add all your organic powders into the soup now use your hand or a, a, a spatula to mix them together mix the ingredients together so that the, the powder can easily incorporate into the soup now it's time for you to add all your oils and your apple cider vinegar into the soup adding the oils make the soup soft and adding your apple cider vinegar as well make the soup soft. now when you add your apple cider vinegar and your oils into the soup you are almost done now it's time to use your hand please if you are missing this soup wear your hand glue whatever soap you are missing please try and wear your hand glue now it's time for you to use your hand to mix the soap very very well mix everything very very well use your hand to mix everything very very well so that it will incorporate after mixing with your hand now use your hand blender okay use your hand blender to your hand blender your stick blender your electric blender to mix your soup if you don't have an electric blender you don't have blender you can use your hand to mix after mixing the soup allow the soap to sit for 24 hours which is one day after now cover it and allow it to ferment very well by so doing you allow you, you you help the ingredients to incorporate very well into the soup after that after the 24 hours bring out your soup use your hand to mix the soup again and you see that the soup is very very nice it is soft and looking very very good your soup is ready it is easy to make it is super super easy to make all you just need to do is to get the right things to mix inside that is how you mix your soup guys so guys that is it for this or caramel soap please if you want to make this soap you can make it and you can sell it after making it is super effective and it's going to help glow and lighten the skin a bit of the caramel skin it's going to make their skin look very very fine so guys that is it for this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you on my next video